Hi there, Rowdy Feral Stoats, and welcome to another round of The Kitchen in Toad Hall on The Steaming Toad. Now, settled science, it's a baffling concept, isn't it? But to understand climate science, you have to understand we need to have settled science, i.e. everybody agreeing to the same blinking thing. 99.99% of the world's scientists are wrong. But there is one scientist who has come out recently, boldly and bravely, and to examine his comments, we're joined by the Professor of Golf Course Design at Aladali University, Professor Amanda Keller. Barnaby Joyce, one of the great senators of the Australian nation, seems to be the person who's tumbled to this most, the settled science issue. Oh, it's so exciting when Barnaby Joyce decides to speak out, and I really have to admire him, because as you say, Nearly to a T, the world scientists feel that this issue is settled. But Barnaby Joyce, you've got to admire his guts. He's got no scientific background. He's a breath of fresh air. He can come out, say what he likes, and it's great fodder for the tabloid media who swallow it hook, line and sinker. I'm very excited by it. And it's not just science that he enjoys no. talking about like this. You may remember last year his take on maths, his own brand of maths, when he was confusing trillions and millions when he was a minister for finance. Gutsy stuff, he's just making up the maths and here he is again having a crack at the science and I really have to admire him. I think you know, the main uh, issue for subtle scientists is CO2 is now established as 100% beneficial. Can the nation, can the world have too much CO2 in it? Let's look at what CO2 is. Yes. Pretty much it's breath, it's human breath and we all learnt this at school. It's breath mixed with sunlight equals food for plants. Food for plants. Yes. How good's that? I know, incredible, isn't it? How can we think we that it's not beneficial? More breath equals more greenery. Aren't we trying to make the planet greener? We are. We Bar are. Barnaby's onto something. I know. More carbon dioxide equals a greener planet. And you know, we've only discovered this in the last five minutes. Oh, I know. For thousands of millions of years, See? activity's been going on on the Earth without anybody noticing it. But it's only in the last five minutes. Why does this funky gas? get such a bum rap, Prof. Well, I think bum might be the word because it doesn't always smell good. No. You can have your coffee breath, you can have your garlic breath, you can have your foul morning breath. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's given it a bad rap. Right. And it's a waste product. If we start exploring waste products, you know where we're going to go next, into the toilet door. Speaking of waste products as well, there's so many great chemicals which have been overlooked in the rush to settle science. And I'm just wondering if it's time to now go back and revisit some of the great chemicals that have haunted us in the past and given us the pip. DDT, mm. uh, fabulous. Mm. Asbestos, oh. sadly overlooked in this day and age. <laughs> Nicotine mm. and your old fashioned <laughs> CFCs that we used to run the fridges on. Do we mm. need to go back and re-examine them? Because who knows, some of them might turn out to be 100% beneficial as well. Well now we've all discovered how easy it is to be a scientist. I think any minute now we will be stepping up and finding the wonderful benefits of these. I think we should have those old machines that you put your foot in them to x-ray your feet for oh, shoes. Yeah, Bring them back. Yes. Science is fun. Let's make this stuff good again. At our institute though we have come up with an experiment for Barnaby Joyce himself to increase his carbon dioxide emissions. Mm -hmm. I think we should put a picture of Jennifer Hawkins in a bikini in front of him. It'll speed up his panting. He'll start to get all breathy like a wobble board. He's putting out more CO2. Barnaby saves the world and the trillions or millions of people that are in it. It's elegant, it's sophisticated, and it's, it's very... It's elegant, thank it, you. It, yes, and very, very now. Uh, these are more ideas always here on The Steaming Toad.